You're watching TVC Breakfast. Let's get into our last discussion of the day. Days after the story of the controversial death of a student of Doan College, Sylvester Oromoni, more information about how he allegedly refused to join a cult group went viral on social media. Educationists are of the view that there is need for more counsellors and parental care to guide students. Uh, joining me to uh, make sense of, of this development and trending story is the founder uh, Mama Hill Montessori School in Lagos, Uchuko Prudence Daniels. It's nice to have you join me. Good morning. It's my pleasure. You're welcome. Good morning. Great. And I also have in the studio the director of La Posh School, Ronke Posh Adeni. It's nice to have you join me poshly in the studio. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks You're for inviting me. You're welcome. I've missed you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a long time now, but it's good to have you back in studio. <laughs> Thank you. Now, um, I'm going to ask both of you, uh, the, 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 the case with Sylvester is a very painful one, not just as a parent, not just as a school uh, proprietor when it, when it overseeing children, but to all of us as Nigerians and all of that. I'm going to ask both of you uh, how you felt when you heard that story. That story is just one out of so many others that we may not have heard about. But let me start with you. I wept. It was terrible. Just two weeks prior to that, I had spoken on Instagram repeatedly hmm. about bullying because a child, Tiara James, had committed suicide as a result of bullying. So I was so moved. I wrote an e-book, I sent it out free, and the next thing I heard about this, I wept. It was, it is heart-wrenching. Mm. If you listen to the report who played earlier on, everyone, most of the respondents were talking about the issue of parenting and everything starting from the home. But let's, let's, let's come back home from where everything starts from. Mm. What is that value that parents are supposed to be putting in their children to make them civilized mm -hmm. when they go out and engage with others that is lacking? What is that thing? I mean, there are many things, mm -hmm. but let's just even talk about the basic um, empathy, mm -hmm. um, be, even self-esteem, having time for your children, the values. The, the five um, key uh, magic words, please thank you, you know, just simple things. Let's start from there before we even move to advanced things. Those things should be happening in the home, you know, we, and the way that the, the parents also deal with their children. So your child doesn't want to um, do X, Y or Z. You have to shout at the top of your voice. You have to hit. You have to call that child names. That child will go out and they will manifest the same thing and do much more than you are doing. So in the home, those basic um, skills should be taught and also living together, respecting one another. All those should be happening in the home. Hmm. Uh, Ronke, let me come to you on this. I recall several times uh, having you on the program where we talked about the issue of checks and balances within the school. Mm -hmm. And there was a time you uh, uh, give us a picture of some of the kinds of checks and balances within school to ensure that some things don't happen. In a situation like uh, Sylvester's case, uh, some people say, well, this is not the first time it's happening. It could have been happening. You know, it was just the, the last straw. Talk to us about some of the checks and balances that should be in place in schools where these things can be detected on time before it gets to this situation on this level. Okay. Um, keeping it simple. In a, in a boarding house, mm. um, I went to boarding school. Yeah. And I did, I did too. <laughs> so I went to boarding school and I can remember Mithi Obasa. I was in Obasa house mm. and I can remember her, bless her. She was there. In fact, her, her, her home or flat was just right next to us. And she used to patrol. You know, that was already a check and balance. Okay. There were um, teachers and um, staff all around mm. that go around and check. Keeping an eye on. Keeping an eye yeah. on what was going on right. in the school. That was already happening. So they didn't just leave us. Now, you find that in, this, in cases now, you find that boarding house, the boarding house masters, mistresses mm. teach during the daytime, and then they are supposed to go and do bo um, look after the children in the boarding area later on. After they've taught all day, they've marked all day, they're tired, then they will go and teach the children. So someone that's already spent, mm. needs, 
not even they're going to sleep. If they're not going to hear anything that exactly, is happening. Do you know they, they're, they're, they're tired like, already. They're tired already. Yeah. And even if they do, they're like, please, these children. So because they're already tired. So they, we need to ensure that whoever is doing the body housework is only doing that mm. body housework. He's dedicated to he it. He's dedicated. Mm. There should be systems in place. At this time to this time, what is happening? What, where, what happens to the doors? Who checks? Do you understand? Mm. Who checks? Why are people moving around at a particular time? There's a, they, we used to have what they call lights out when yeah, we were in QC. Exactly. You can't even dare move out, mm. you know, because these so called boys came to that dormitory, that room, to meet Sylvester where he was. So when they were moving around, who knew? Are these children given free access to do anything that they want? Are they spoken to about bullying? What, are the, um, what happens? What are the consequences when they do things like that? What is the feedback mechanism when things are happening like that? You know, because if, if some, a boy is being bullied and he's talking, friends will know about it. So what are we telling our children? If they see, they should look away. You know, we have a, a culture of um, maintain your lane yeah, now. Yeah, so exactly. friends, are, friends are not saying anything. Seniors are not saying anything. Teachers are not saying anything. Uh, because the teacher will have seen now. You will know mm -hmm. the countenance of your, of your child in the classroom that something is happening. Then um, every other person would have seen and nobody will say anything. They were, even if the system is not even 100%, you would have seen that somebody is not 100% and somebody should have cared enough to say what is going on. Mm -hmm. even, even preschoolers, when we see that they're they already unhappy in our, in our school, and like, what is the matter when they come in the morning, you know, oh, I didn't eat my breakfast, mommy shouted at me. You, would, you should be able to, because they're not, they're not teaching or learning without a relationship. Mm -hmm. You must have a relationship with the children uh, in your class. Teaching and learning with the relationship. Yes. Uh. So it's that amazing. must be happening. So yeah. systems must be in place. So what I what I can um, what I sense is that there were no systems in place, and even there's a culture already. We I mean, it's already out there. There's a culture already that this sort of thing happens. It's normal. It has been normalized in that environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, my ears are full from the things that I've heard. But it's unfortunate. I mean, it's good that people are speaking now. Please continue to speak up. But it's unfortunate because if people had spoken up earlier, Sylvester would still be here today. Mm. Yes. Just in one minute, let's talk about the issue of early signs where you notice this child that used to be bubbly and all of that is no longer the way he used to or she used to be. Mm. Could those be signs of the fact that something is wrong somewhere? Definitely. All right. I mean, as a teacher in the classroom, once or a parent mm. with your child, once you see changes in your child, you need to observe. I would tell parents who have a journal for each child and run their families like a business. For each child, you must know exactly. So tracking everything that is happening. Your child comes home is not really talking again. Your child, ch child, child comes home wants to be in the room. Your child is overeating. Your child is under eating. Your child is snapping or being rude or be withdrawn. Things, traits, character traits that are different. Mm. Losing weight, gaining weight. What are those things that you are observing in your child? You must know. As a teacher, you must know that this child's grades are dropping. This child's handwriting has changed. This girl is not focused, always thinking about something else in the classroom. You must know these things if you care. Because you can't be a teacher if you don't love the children in your class. They Absolutely. will not learn. Learning is state dependent. Ch teachers must know and ensure that they know every child in their class. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, we have classes of 20, 30, 40, 50, 150. Mm -hmm. There are too mm -hmm. many in the classroom. How, does, how can one person or two people know everything mm. about all those children in the classroom? They will miss it because they are human beings. So we need that ratio to come down and we need to know the signs. The minute things start changing, mm. scars or bruises, I don't want to go to the playground. I want to stay in the classroom. You know, they're isolating themselves, all sorts of things. Know that there is something wrong. Do you want to talk to me? You don't just say, say oh, that what they did to you. It's normal. Uh, be a big boy. Mm. Yeah, that normal. It's a normal thing. Because we normalize violence. The same way that we say, uh, spare the rod. And we beat our children. Oh, yeah. We've normalized yeah. violence. We've not known how to balance that yeah, uh, biblical yeah. uh, thing. No. But we have to leave you here now. Mm. Ronke, Posh, Adeni, thank you very much for coming. Thank as you usual. so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and